राजीव रोशन दीक्षित यू आर कम नो नो सर फर्स्ट टाइम ओके सॉरी राजीव लोचन वेरी गुड यू आर एन इंजीनियर यस सब्जेक्ट सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सर प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सर सर आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय बीटेक इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम गांधी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज देन आई हैव वर्क फॉर माय थ्री इंफ्रा इन रायगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ ओडिशा आवर क्लाइंट वाज उत्कल अलुमिना Mm-hmm. Uh, I quit my job because mm-hmm. of uh, experiences I had at uh, my job that I need I need need a uh, need to prepare for civil services that mm-hmm. to uh, serve the society mm-hmm. and there there was also some emergency at my home so mm-hmm. I have to be present at home mm-hmm. uh, to give my family mental and physical support mm-hmm. so that's why uh, and my hobbies are so traveling and. Mm-hmm. you you are transport engineering is it uh, civil engineering sir but you have written some of the subjects transport yes i would say a subject in my transport mm-hmm. engineering yes, sir it is a subject in civil engineering yes sir uh, it basically De- deals with design of concrete mpc uh, design of concrete is a subject mm-hmm. and bmbc is a short form of building material and building construction sir mm-hmm. so in civil engineering uh you know this this earthquake is earthquake uh, be a possible potential earthquake is it a factor which is taken into consideration do you factor it in in designing the civil structures yes sir certainly there are uh, five zones in india mm. and we take accordingly the factors to design the structure. so you mean to say that in orissa the the civil structures are there. It, it, it this factor is there yes taken into consideration is it especially in bhubneswar zone mm. because it's uh, <coughs> after zone is it only the government structures which are yet <coughs> uh, proof no sir, sir mm. the commercial and private factors are also taken mm-hmm. into account also how do you factor it in that we are vulnerable uh, seismic vulnerability how is it factored in into the design of a building uh, sir it's a specific uh, branch in civil engineering that uh, mm. people do structural engineering mm. uh, they they do the they take it structure yes sir uh, mm. because a common man will not know yes but uh, the design engineer he he takes it into consideration is yes, it then coming to transport tell um, raji lochan how soon we can expect electric vehicles to outnumber the traditional diesel petrol vehicles uh, sir the indian government recently uh, set a target of 2030 mm. that to and the, it's also a target under pm2 scheme mm. uh, that subsidizes electric vehicle mm. but in in reality sir mm. the it is a distance reality because mm. uh, our transport fleet fleet mo- mostly depends on diesel vehicle mm. and substituting that to electric vehicle is a mm. uh, long process mm. uh, there is also uh, lack of infrastructure in india the charging infrastructure mm. and we also lack the basic amenities to develop uh, motors and uh, mm. batteries lithium ion batteries in india mm. uh, okay and uh, international news what is the news that uh, you would like to talk about uh, sir international news hmm see, see internationally say bangladesh yes. sri lanka yes, or uh, russia ukraine yes, our prime minister honorable prime minister visit to ukraine recently yes, any topic you would like to talk about sir i am comfortable in hmm and comp- i am comfortable in with yes. these things yes Huh? I'm comfortable in uh, no, all these things. Uh, no, no, you are not, not comfortable. No, no, sir. I'm comfortable. He could not understand the question. I think. Yes. Ah. No, no. What do you think of uh, our policy towards the Russian-Ukraine conflict? There are some critics saying that our honourable prime minister should not have gone to Russia and accepted the reward there. 
particularly when the war was going on. In fact, on the very day our Prime Minister was there, a hospital was attacked and children lost their lives. That at that moment, um, our Prime Minister was receiving an honor uh, award from the Putin. That, that was a little awkward. So, what do you think? Uh, yes, sir. certainly India's foreign policy based on the principle of de-happiness. Mm -hmm. We uh, evaluate our policy mm -hmm. on individual basis, not on global basis. Mm -hmm. That's why our uh, relation with Russia is a old one mm -hmm. and strategic one. Mm -hmm. So, we made in that capacity mm -hmm. and also Prime Minister pointed out the uh, problems of attacking hospital and mm -hmm. uh, killing of children. Mm -hmm. That's why he also visited the uh, war memorials in U Ukraine when he visited Ukraine. Mm. And also India's uh, long point stand was uh, that there should be both sides should be party to peace process and mm. not unilateral, unilateral peace should be declared. Mm. And there should be also uh, uh, immediate ceasefire of. Uh, very, war. very beautiful answer. Excellent, Rajiv, yeah. sir. <coughs> Rajiv Doshan Dikit. Your native place is? Vanessa, sir. I born in. Born and brought up. Born and brought up in Bhavan, yes, sir. So, we belong to Kurda district. Hmm? Yes, sir. You know when Kurda was carved out of Puri? Yes, sir. Puri. Which year? Uh, I don't know the exact year, but it's 1992 or 3. Okay. Yeah. We will have to uh, just get it into the exact figure. Uh, there is a question, important question for you as a civil engineer. Most of the roads which are constructed in the villages are concrete, whereas Major roads are in black top. Yes. Why is this different approach? Sir, concrete road is uh, more, uh, it has more life than the bitumen road. Uh, ah, then why it should come to the highways and major roads, but major roads are black top and the uh, village roads are concrete. Sir, but uh, yes, sir, I agree. But uh, sir, the, the highway roads, the bitumen roads are more called soft pavement and the concrete roads are called the rigid pavements because. Uh, rigid payments are more durable and it is uh, it can bear more loads because we, we don't have a particular data for uh, uh, traffic in village areas that's why we opt for the concrete road and also in highways certainly uh, some some patches there are use of concrete road uh, to mitigate the challenges of uh, road damage during frequent traffic hours very few but most of the village roads are concrete yes sir so I am yet to understand what is the logic behind. What you are telling is not, uh, I am not getting into the logic. Yes, sir. <laughs> the there must be reason, no? Yes, that they decide that our village road should be concrete. Sir, so the concrete road, the rigid pavement road, its uh, lifespan is 25 to 30 years. Okay. Once constructed. So we can construct similar concrete roads also in the highways and measures. Sir, but in, in highways, if we drive at higher speed at concrete roads, there is a shock to our vehicle and it provides less grip to our tire. Um, vehicle tires. It also not suitable for high speed driving and not a comfortable riding in traffic uh, conditions. Oh, that is the reason. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the soft soft pavement that is the bitumen bitumen roads. Uh, if we drive at high speed, it is more uh, sm smoother driving experience than the concrete one. But I believe it little differently. I believe it little differently in the sense village roads are mostly damaged during the heavy rain. Yes, sir. So with the poor maintenance uh, when it comes to the village road. Yes, sir. Because the concrete road, construction of concrete road requires much more expertise than the bitumen road. And if there is a lack of... Uh, so once means, you construct that, yes. so it is disaster proof yes, to sir. some extent. Mostly, yes. Mm. Yes. And villages are mostly affected to that. So that may be also one of the primary reasons yes, for sir. which uh, I the believe. Main, yes sir. Main problem is the main reason is durability. Uh, it is higher cost than the bitumen. but. Durability is the main. Mm, so it can reduce the risk of damage yes, huh? by the disasters, floods and cyclones, heavy rains. Okay. Can you tell something about Kurdas uh, military history? Military. Kurda district's military history. Yes, sir. Kurda has the distinction of uh, uh, having the first war of independence in Odisha. Uh, certainly, government is trying to make it the First war of independence of uh, India because of Pikers of Kurda. Uh, they fought against the British and successfully repelled the, both the Marathas and British till 1803. But uh, after the fall of uh, peripheral areas, the Kurda fort fought fell. But it was the last standing independent fort of 
Odisha. So that was known as Khordagar today. Okay, when you look to the statues of uh, Paksi Jagabandhu and other important statues, you find those heroes riding on the horses. Yes, sir. You don't see any remnant of horses available in Odisha anywhere. So, is it a, just monumental to show or really the horses were there? Uh, sir, with the pikers. Yes, sir, Baksi, the pikers were mainly infantry men, though those are working on foot soldiers. But Baksi was their commander, and Baksi is a term that is coined by coined to um, show the word that commander it is uh, Uriya is Baksi. So, he is shown in that light only. Okay, but there is a point to think of on this. Yes, sir. Uh, because looking at the statue, we feel that probably old spikers were, must be acquainted with the horses. Yes, sir. And horses were there in Odisha, but nowhere is there. So, you say uh, that spikers are infantry foot soldiers. Yes. Okay, sir. <coughs> uh, please tell me, uh, I think your subject is public administration. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the difference between line agencies and field agencies? Sir, line and field agencies are, uh, it is a headquarter and field relationship mainly. And the headquarter field relationship is varies from one organization to other organization. Like, uh, if, we give, if I give an example, like, uh, collectorate is a field agency. Where a secretary is a line agency that uh, makes policy and collector it or videos uh, that uh, implements the policy. For, uh, for the office of video, the collector is the headquarter and the okay. video office. Uh, my next question is uh, what are the uh, steps involved in the preparation of the union budget? How does this start? Yes, sir. The, okay. Firstly, all the departments and their independent financial advisors yes. uh, send their suggestions to the department secretary. Then it goes to Ministry of Finance. Okay. Um, tell me, uh, what is uh, hierarchy in civil service? Sir, hierarchy is a chain of command that is uh, there to ensure discipline and also to ensure uh, fast, fast communication. Uh, like we have seen in COVID times, uh, there is a centralized hierarchy that led to maintenance of law order and disaster management. Okay, very good. Last question. Uh, dif tell me the difference between rigid and flexible constitutions. What is the difference between rigid constitutions and flexible constitutions? Sir, in rigid constitutions, the amendment procedure is very much uh, cumbersome. Yes. Whereas in flexible, there is is uh, more flexible and more comparatively easier. Thank you. Uh, sir. <coughs> Rajiv Lochan. Dixit. Kebayachi Apanamuro interview. Uh, sir, 24th of September. 24th. So, how do you feel? This is the first interview. Uh, no, sir. It's my third interview. Third interview? Third one. Yes. Huh? That's surprising. Why? But how much you got in the previous interviews? Uh, sir, it's actually my first interview. Mm. Uh, last year, I... La, ah. Last to last year, I missed on my... Uh, ah, so the first interview, though? Yes, sir. You, you have done very well. We are absolutely... This is going to be a first interview. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, that's what you want. So, you are on uh, very solid grounds. Your grasp is very good. Yes. International relations, this, public administration, your subject. It's a, it's, it's a wonderful grasp. Okay? Yes. So, you. you stand very firm on the ground, young man. We are very happy. Thank Nothing you. to worry. Relax. But you are you, you are not smiling. Huh? <laughs> smile uh, now and then. Yes. Okay. Because of that will give Face the interview with uh, a smile full of confidence. Uh, correct. You you will go uh, with a uh, shirt and so uh, I, I chose a white shirt. I have I had a white shirt. Uh -huh. so white I, white tie uh, and uh, this this tie. Obviously. Okay okay and then. This is yes, sir. very good. And that will be comfortable. Only thing is, we appear to be uh, I mean, very serious. Okay. Eh? Take a uh, plan. Now, yeah, I'll try to relax. Take a deep breath. Huh? Uh, erect posture. And then look. Your answers are really outstanding. Thank you, sir. Uh, when you said, for instance, no, we don't get hyphenated at all. It's a standalone thing. We we'll deal each country on its merits. We are not beholden to anybody. Fantastic answer.
Okay, solid ground. You are a very solid person. So you will enjoy it. Relax. Eh? We should. Uh, you should get the top-notch interview marks. Okay. All the best, Rajiv Rajan. Thank you. Yeah. You, your uh, public administration. Yes, sir. Okay. Is this the first time? Last time also you gave public administration? Yes, sir. How La much you scored there? Last time I scored, uh, there was a problem in my family. That's why mm. I missed on two marks, 10 marks, sir. Mm. Uh, I have scored 180 and 170. Ah, you are a solid man. We could see that. Yes. So, you are making it and making it big, yeah. young man. All the best. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Sir, I mm. have some questions. Yes, yes. Uh, Most welcome. Sir, about the beard and hairstyle, uh. is it all okay? Because, uh, no, you want to keep a beard? Yes, sir. I, I want to cleanse about it. This is okay. Mm. No, no, cleaning is okay. He wants to know whether he should go clean shave. No, 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 no
which unless you make an effort it will not come to the knowledge of the it's like a submerged thing kitte parimatta it is for you to okay sir okay okay sir you should get the maximum mark in interview thank you sir all the best thank okay you. thank you sir thank oh, you god bless you thank you sir best wishes thank you sir so much